Nicola from Australian Seabird Rescue, who I volunteer for, and um, Sean, one of our um, other venomous snake handlers and rehabbers, um, rescued two beautiful yellow-bellied sea snakes on the weekend. Unfortunately, when he arrived at the scene, the first one had already passed away before he got there. And then this little fellow was the second one, and it's just a teeny tiny baby. So these guys, even though they're babies, they're just as venomous as an adult. Um, so I just want to check him out. So we've got here a little juvenile yellow-bellied sea snake. And he is so tiny, sorry buddy, that I'm wearing leather gloves underneath my gloves today. And that is how big this gorgeous little thing is. Super, super teeny tiny. So today, having a look at the tail, which is infected. So he started his treatment plan yesterday under the guidance of uh, Dr. Jonathan Howard, who we always deal with sea snakes with. He's our sea snake guru. And um, so this little guy's just under OBS at the moment. Is a little bit delicate. And just trying to work out what's going on for him. So the locomotion is pretty good. This top half, but once he gets to this area here, this tail area, this is my little area of concern for him. Very tiny little enclosure for the purpose of just doing obs on the med table. So this is not his enclosure. I'll be able to come down here and have a look at him under the water. When he's in a little enclosure like this, I can actually see through the glass windows a lot better and kind of do my obs. Just once we're in the water. And see how the body flows. Oh, how's that tail going, buddy? Looks like it's moving a lot better than it did yesterday. Are you about to shed, mate? How's your eyeballs? See, I'm mainly seeing a drag with that tail. I'm not seeing much in the way of paddling. I need to... Some severe levels of dehydration. Got a lot of energy. So see the cloudy eyes, so he's going to go through a shed soon. He's coming up to breathe, taking a breath and going back down. And we got a little mark there as well. So a little red mark. I really want to open his mouth now and see. see quite a bit of redness around that mouth. I wonder if he's got an infection inside there. So far, <coughs> a lot of the sea snakes that I've had in, once I open their mouth, I think, oh my gosh, that's where the infection is. 
It's really hard to spot and then you open their mouth and it's like, oh, there it is. See, there's redness around there. There's a mark there. Although he's about, he looks like he's about to go into shed, so I don't know if they get a little bit of redness from the shedding. So we're gonna need some more fluids today. We're gonna need to open his mouth and check out inside his mouth. That's another little mark there. It's a little superficial laceration or puncture wound. Okay, so I'm going to get him out and I'm going to give him some fluids and check out inside his mouth. So see in between the forceps here, that's where the venom gland is if you get bitten by a sea snake that's the that's the fang the front fanged you all right buddy 